none of us have, I don't think, ever ventured into anything like this before and it's kind of a monumental thing. I suppose at the very start we sort of went, let's do a roster. See how we went goes. 12 weeks in front of us. We did get together as a committee and we went, all right, that now that 12 difficult. weeks is gone, what do we do now? Do we, do we keep going? The bus goes to Westbridge Station and what's wonderful about the bus, what the kids love about it is it matches every train. Westbridge. Panton Hill. Smith Gully. St Andrews. Butterman's Track. Puddles Bridge. Here's Bridge. I feel really proud to be able to give the kids the ability to get out and that, the independence. I'll probably use the bus probably about once every two weeks, if not every week. Well, I use it most Saturdays because I go to Eltham a lot. The bushfire youth yeah. group, those kids really desperately wanted some transport. It was a, a big issue for them, um, just the isolation. We started off saying, is there a way we can get some public transport? And we've, we've banged on deaf ears for a long time. So we just thought, is there anything we can do? And we got approached by yeah. Andrew at the council and said, why don't you look at doing something like using our bus, using some facilities that we already have in place and organising something for yourselves and it's where it started. Where it started and I guess between us we've gotten this far, mm. I guess, yeah. Um, I catch it to go to St Andrew's Market so I can help out with the horse um, riding there, yep. If the bus wouldn't run, I probably wouldn't be able to go there. It's a way of getting kids using other parts of Nillimbik and accessing other parts of Nillimbik, um, like the skate, skate park in Elson. I feel quite, it's quite rewarding to get these kids um, from Butterman's Track all the way down high and low road, get them out. And when I pick them up from their isolated driveways and, and all, along, just you know, at the stops and they know that they've, they've come a, walked a long way to get there because mum or dad's working. It's great that they're not just stuck at home. It's fantastic. I work with horses and without the bus I wouldn't actually be able to get up there. I get off at Smith's Gully, just the corner stall. Well, what I think the bus means to young people is freedom. They need the bus for freedom. Those children that use it, and they would be lost without it. There are heaps of people around who are now catching onto it mm. and incorporating it into their lives. So. It's a lot easier for me because I can't drive because I've got epilepsy, so that's why I can't drive. So when the Saturday bus comes, I can actually go out and see friends and be able to go out for the night because I don't have to worry about parents driving me to the station. You can download a timetable or most of the time we'll just get one off the drivers every now and then. We know it's about 9.05, 10.05, 11.05, yeah. whatever, up here. And then when you're home, you know there's going to be a bus waiting there if it's before six o'clock, so it's great. I'm um, one of the proprietors of the Smith Gully General Store. I mean, I've got a 16-year-old son and a 14-year-old daughter and without the bus they wouldn't be able to get to places like Hurstbridge to go and see their friends in Templestowe or Warrandyte or wherever. Having the store, I can't just leave to take kids here, there and everywhere. So having the bus there, it gives them that, all right, mum, see you later, you know, back this afternoon. And I know that they can leave and come home safely and yeah with responsible parents driving the community bus. I rang around. I rang around and go, look, we can only provide this service if we've got volunteer drivers. I like Rod said they needed help and I'm that sort of person that puts your hand up. So it's a community thing and I think it's good for the community. I've been a driver since the, um, this started. I've lived in St Andrews for 30 years. I've reared four kids there and I've driven them all around the place. So, I mean, there's a lot of kids that I know in town that can't get out of town. I got on St Andrews, I'm getting off at Hurstbridge and I'm heading into the MCG to go to the pies. Because um, we run all the community drivers through the council, that's all police checked, children checked, all those sorts of things. The shift is generally from 9.25 in the morning till 1.15 and then 1.25 till 5.20. Most drivers do two shifts in 12 weeks and most are really happy to do that. You're just helping other people instead of helping yourself. <laughs> I'm 
surprised the amount of people that come from the other side of the city, like Brunswick and way down the other side, you know, wherever and all that. I mean, it's a long haul for them to come up on all those trains, but they enjoy their day, so you're giving them the benefit of coming up and having a look around the area. Otherwise, they wouldn't get out of here. But it opens up Melbourne Big Shire for those people. I don't drive, so this is a great opportunity for me to get to the market, get organic veggies, and having this bus service has created um, a social and yeah, a more healthy lifestyle for me. So. Uh, we got on at Hurst Bridge, and you'll have to tell us. Well, we're here. getting off at Coleman's Road, which is opposite Boomer's Reserve. A good service for to getting up. Russell's got eye problems now and can't drive, so just helps us to, to get that bit further out of Eltham and have a look at the market. Yeah, it's good. Hope it keeps going. <laughs> I've been very impressed with the partnership between the council, the volunteer drivers and the local community members who are prepared to put in the work and the state government money which got it up and running. It's been a fantastic effort, community effort. You know, it's uh, it's accessible for anyone who needs it, and that's that's the important thing. I wonder how many communities out there have do the same thing. I was very surprised when I looked at the figures that it's not even though yes, it is a lot of money. It's not as much as I thought it would be. So creating partnerships between council, uh, private enterprise, and getting a good committee together. Um, is, is certainly the way way to go. The reaction is always big if you talk about the bus stopping. It's always um, quite, yeah, from everybody. Yeah, we'd have our heads knocked off. Mm. <laughs> it's a real <laughs> You get a, an enormous to, sense to of loss already. Enormous sense of loss because it's um it's sort of knitting the community together. I really like the sense of community it creates, and I think a lot of us in our isolated little cars, driving our isolated little families, that living out here, you can become quite disconnected from. Um, other people. I think with the bus it's a way of touching base with all sorts of people that you've lost contact with. So I see it as a moving community centre. I just want to say really quickly thanks to all the drivers yeah. because that's what makes the bus, you know. Also I'd like to say just to anyone who lives on the main road between Hursty and St Andrews, just check it out. Check out the Nillenbeck website have a look at the bus timetable and where it goes and see because it is really easy. That's a really good resource for a Saturday just to get around.